Hello, everybody. Uh, the Punisher is here on a Thursday. The Punisher is a man of focus, great focus. He once killed three men in a bar with a pencil. A freaking pencil. Who does that? Well, the Punisher, that's who. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another Punisher show. I hope that everybody saw the Tuesday pre-hump day drop. It looks like a lot of people missed it. Either that or people would probably like the Punisher to discontinue his show. We'll talk about that and more things as this one goes on. But I can tell you this. <laughs> We've got some stellar news coming today. But let me get a couple things out of the way. The Missouri animal girl who beat down the teenager. I won't even show these pictures. This is, oh, wow, 15 years old. And this girl just beat, beat this white girl's head into the, into the ground, into the, the uh, sidewalk. And now she is in critical condition. Her skull is fractured. She probably will not make it. And if she does, uh, we will be very lucky. She will be very lucky. This is extremely sad. This person is a freaking animal. 15 years old, they're talking about uh, charging her as an adult, which she should be. And then fed to a bunch of ravenous dogs. Oh, oh sorry. Like, that one was tough to see. I watched the video. <clears throat> now, in more exciting news, Mike Tyson is going to fight this fella, this YouTube star named Jake Paul, on July 20th of this year. I saw a Mike Tyson video. He's getting all pumped up. But as you saw with him on that airplane uh, a few months back, or what is it, a year or two, uh, he can still handle things. I sure wouldn't want to get in front of his fist. So, I'm hereby putting my money on Mike Tyson one round. He will annihilate this little YouTuber, okay? And that's why this YouTuber is not challenging Mike Tyson to a fight. Because I know better. I'd get my ass kicked. All right. Now, before we get too far, let's pay a little bills. By the way, I got some good gold stuff coming up in the future. Uh, not today. Today... We're doing an old-time commercial. <sighs> the day's looking new and bright. And you're going to start it right. Fold you're starting to brew. The aroma's calling you. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Mm. Ah. That's right. The good old days when you watched Joe DiMaggio sell the Mr. Coffee Maker back in 1974. He was doing those commercials. I remember them well. It's Joe DiMaggio with Mr. Coffee. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pot of drip coffee with the fastest drip coffee maker ever. It will be the best cup you've ever had. And did you know that the drip coffee was actually... We've already gone back to the show. <laughs> well, we're still in commercial. The drip coffee maker was actually invented, believe it or not, at least the process of drip coffee, in 1908 by a German housewife. Yep, 1908. Did I say? What did I say? 1908. And, uh, and then, of course, in the 50s and stuff, they started getting big. But anyway... Back to your regularly scheduled program. Punisher's probably due for some R&R. R&R. <laughs> That's rest and relaxation, among other things. Oh, yeah. But, anyway. Uh, everybody's watching the TikTok thing? Let's talk about TikTok. Let's talk about Tick, baby. Let's talk about... Oh, anyway. TikTok. Uh, owned by Chinese. Well, majority of it. 
So there's a bill to, uh, to not, they're not trying to ban TikTok, by the way. They're trying to put it in the right hands so that it's controlled by the U.S. Because right now, yes, the Chinese can use it to spy on you. And they are, their motivation is to do that and completely control the minds of our youth. Okay, they keep, they keep, keep watching that crap. They get addicted to, you, to uh, TikTok and they don't stop. And by the way, China only allows their kids to, to uh, use TikTok for 40 minutes per day. Four zero, 40 minutes per day and only educational videos. So, kind of makes you wonder. But anyway, there's a lot going on with that. Uh, uh, what's his face? Mnuchin is uh, trying to trying to get a bunch of investors who want to buy it. But okay, they might get the investors, but they still they still have to have a deal to, you know, China's got to sell it. Anyway, there's a lot going on with that. It's uh, become more complex than it sounds. Uh, so keep following that. Six charges dropped. <laughs> in the Fonnie Willis uh, thing. By the way, that, uh, that judge who dropped six charges, which made that case even thinner, uh, is expected to make a ruling on the Fonnie uh, Willis, did I say Lewis? Fonnie uh, Willis uh, case today or tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. It could, in fact, it could come out uh, by the time this video posts. So if it does, then you'll know. Anyway, I suspect she'll be removed, and now that the six charges have been dropped, leaving very little, at least a smaller amount, the question is whether another uh, DA will pick up the, the case. Just because, it's, uh, just because she gets removed doesn't mean the case goes away. However, several chose to not take the case because it was so weak. So we'll see how that goes. My guess. <laughs> It's going to be gone. All right. My big plan. The MVP. Right here, right now. I told you on Tuesday that there was probably going to be a new operation stood up. I've got two in the queue, by the way. But here, by, here blah, 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 right now, at this moment, Operation Royal Flush three squared ceases to exist it is done it's over it has knocked so many heads down the drain i can't even count them all we hereby stand up operation enterprise 2.0 entering at 2.0 because well it was actually already underway last week but i couldn't yet reveal it operation enterprise 2.0 operation sudden impact continues at five dot zero and effective immediately goes to 5.5 .5. there you oh a sudden impact just jumped to 5.5 .5. here we go ladies and gentlemen the heads are getting ready to roll <clears throat> and now then uh oh, ladies and gentlemen uh as i drink some of that uh, joe dimaggio coffee i am here to tell you that uh I will be taking a prominent lead in Operation Enterprise 2.0, pushing it along at the direction of the Punisher. So, rest assured, these heads will roll. Heads, they be rolling. And now then, ah, uh, screw James White Volger, we'll talk to you later, bye.